New at NAM 2017, three new models, and we'll start with the 8D. So what does the D stand for? It stands for digital. It's got digital input and output, but on the front panel is an analog headphone jack. I want to be able to hear something that's going on in the system. And remember that with the routing grid, we can route any point to any other point in our network. So if I've got this 8D in front of me and I want to hear a stereo mix of something going on in the network, very simple thing to assign that. On the back panel of the 8D, four channels of AES-3, four channels of SPDIF input and output. Cool thing about the AES inputs here is they do sample rate conversion. When you have interconnected digital audio hardware, it has to share a common sample clock and a common sample rate. So you have one clock master and every other piece of gear slaves to that clock master at the same sample rate. What happens then if uh, I bring a piece of gear into my studio that doesn't want to be a slave to external sync and is running at a different sample rate than the rest of my system, but I want to use the digital output. Maybe an old Kurzweil K2000 or, or a DAT machine. I can plug into the AES inputs on my 8D, and the 8D will do real-time sample rate conversion so that I can match up with the rest of the system. The LP32, what's that all about? Again, front panel analog headphone jack, and that's very important when you're talking about digital input and output. I want to be able to hear something, right? The LP32 has four sets of optical ports. And each of those inputs and outputs are independently configurable for two-channel optical SPDIF, eight-channel ADAT light pipe, or four-channel SMUX. So complete flexibility on how you configure the digital inputs and outputs. But that's potentially 32 channels of optical in and out. So if I've got a, a, a digital mixing board that's got a bunch of optical ports on it, I need to connect that up to my computer. Very simple situation. And of course, it'll connect up to a network, and now we're into however much uh, of an audio network we want to set up. So that's the LP32. And the last one, uh, the, the M64 is uh, our third half rack space interface. There's that headphone jack on the front panel. And the M in M64 stands for MADI. So we actually have two sets of 64 or 56, because again, MADI has two different formats. So we have coax in, two coax outs. They're sending the same MADI signal. And we have optical MADI in and out. So it's actually a, a total of 128 channels in and 128 channels out. So again, the question is, what do you need for your application? Do you need microphone preamplifiers? Do you need 64 channels of line level input or output? Do you need different formats of digital, AES, SPDIF, optical, MADI? Motu has the solution, Motu Pro Audio solution. You tell us what you need to get done in the studio, your live application, setting up uh, institutional networked audio. You tell us what your requirements are, and we're going to be able to provide that solution for you.